tide Let the water go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stone Somebody told me don't pretend It's everyone Hey folks, welcome back. Eddie Smith here. Well, as you can see by the beginning of the video, I am also in quarantine or lockdown like the rest of everybody else. You know, like they say, we're all in it together. Uh, it's been, still since the last video, it's been a few weeks. Snuck out once for a little bit um, to do some shooting and I pretty much stayed about 20 feet away from everybody else and when it was over, I just beelined it for the truck and left. Uh, I have been still having those respiratory issues, so the last thing I want to do is really be in contact with anybody. But, you know, that, I, the, the best thing you can do, again, for everybody is just stay home, stay away from other people. Um, if you go out, just take all the right precautions. You know, you know wear gloves, hand sanitizer. Uh, soap and water is your friend. I know you're probably getting sick of hearing it. Um, in this house, it's it's a constant thing. We're always sterilizing and washing and everything like that. But we're always like that anyway, so I think we're good in that regard. But I hope you're all good and healthy out there, um, staying positive. Uh, we are uh, busting our butts over here trying to come up with uh, new and fun content for you so that, you know, uh, hopefully we give you something to do on top of everything else. I know with me it's redundancy is is a, uh, is murder so you know i i actually ordered like a nintendo classic for example and you know half an hour here and there every other day i try to mix in maybe some old video games some mario brothers or punch out or whatever um you know and this channel is kind of based around the whole music thing and music saves everything and really does and you know i encourage people turn off the news and turn on music or go to youtube and you know find your favorite artists and you know watch some music videos you know hang out with your kids you know we actually have it said on the mm -mm that if we use a keyword it's time for some george or whatever favorite band we have these routines made up and that artist will start playing and you know my wife and i'll start dancing in the kitchen and everything like that you get just remain positive at all things and there's the news is you know i know it's stressing a lot of us out so you know Part of being healthy is mental health. And so I, I definitely suggest, above all else, take breaks from that. You know, I've been following this thing since, oh, maybe December or January. And yeah, it's, um, it's pretty heavy. It's, you know, and it's scary. And, you know, I personally know people that have it. Um, I know people that think they've had it. And everyone, there's a lot of people that say it, but... Um, truth be told, I mean, they had the symptoms, but there's so many different variants out there that, you know, or, uh, what do they call it? The different versions or, um, mutations of the virus that maybe someone may have a less extreme one than the other. So, you know, and that being said, when you hear stuff like that, you know, just be cognizant of, you know, other people's feelings, you know, be sensitive towards it. And, you know, and I'm not always the most sensitive per person in the world, but I'll tell you right now. Everybody is a little upset and stressed and everything like that. So let's just try and keep it light and be kind to each other. You know, it's just that simple. Now, that being said, I have some interesting news. It's been an interesting week. <sighs> Hydration is always good. So this week, um, 
And actually, I want to cover a couple of things. But uh, this week, I was actually temporarily banned from Facebook. Now, <laughs> I mean, the hammer came down. And I'm going to pop right over here um, what I posted, which was simply happy birthday to, I mean, literally, actually, one of our original followers on Facebook, um, long before the channel and, and whatnot. And actually, speaking of which, not to divert, um, today is the two-year anniversary of our channel on YouTube, and we're excited. Um, we're still growing it. Um, I never did get into it. We actually had a lot more subscribers. Um, I have my own beefs with YouTube on that, but we're, we're growing again. Um, you know, and you know, since I'm talking about it, if you've never been here before and you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And then right next to it is that notification bell. And if you hit that, uh, YouTube will send you a notification every single time we put up another entertaining video. And, and honestly, they're a lot of fun right now when we're in here, uh, shooting in the studio, uh, more, and we're doing some like live broadcasts with musicians. But we mix it up and we go out and we do music vlogs when we're hanging out with bands or we're traveling, uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, once a year we do a park series. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But anyhow, back to the original topic. Uh, I don't want to scroll too much and I don't want to take, you know, uh, make this too, too long today. But yeah, I was literally banned. So I posted this, this um, image that I showed you and I shared it to one of our groups. Now, so our page is kind of, uh, the page actually covers pretty much everybody for Country Road Entertainment. So we have fans, um, you know, all over the United States and the UK and everything, which is awesome. You know, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, but we do have a local group. We actually have one here for Arizona, and we actually have one that we're kind of working on right now. It's a project in, in process in Denver. Now, I shared this to the local group. Um, out here called Live Country Music in Arizona, and then bam, screen, the screen went white and asked me for my telephone number. I'm like, well, that's interesting. I said, please verify a number. I put in my number. Next screen, it wants a selfie. It like literally was asking for a current picture. You know, I could take it on there, but I was, you know, obviously I was on the laptop, and I'm like, hey, I'll just take the picture on my phone, and I uploaded it, and it said that they were going to go through it, and verify my identity and get back to me and then immediately logged me out of everything. Every device I had, boom, boom, boom. Um, my wife, you know, she does a lot of work uh, for us on the website and she does a lot of data mining off of uh, Facebook. You know, data mining means she's, she's going through looking for uh, the live music in Arizona and moving it over to our calendar. And um, her devices too, just you know, all logged out. And um, the interesting thing is um, I came back a little bit later and I was able to, after I cleared cash and all that, get back to a screen where it was asking me for two-factor authentication, which is good. Um, and, and it was some relief because I was being told by people that my personal, personal page was missing. So I'm like, well, this is interesting. But, you know, I get, I get the code for two-factor. I go the next step. So I know I wasn't hacked. I mean, you'd have to be able to get in there and change my number and everything. So that's not going to happen. So I get to the next screen and immediately ask for another code. And then, all, and then it refreshes and I get all in red. That basically it was still being investigated. And that if I was posting too often or if I was seemed like I was spamming or anything like that, that I should, quote, unquote, stop or slow down. Well, one, I'm not spamming. We do advertise quite a bit. Um, we do share some stuff, but we share in moderation. We have nothing but respect for the other groups and everything like that. We're not going to post, you know, share every single, you know, post that we do with every single group in the Southwest. Now that's, you know, and I would expect the same respect in return, you know, de depending on, you know, their rules and my rules. It's just, you know, same boat. Um, the only thing I have done lately is so... We, we converted the group kind of into like an online honky-tonk, for say. So be that the musicians are not working right now with the bars and restaurants being closed, uh, they go live certain times of the day. Many of you probably already know this. And then they have their virtual tip jars or Venmo, PayPal, etc. And we encourage people to share it to that group so that the fans can see it. Um, there's a lot of people in that group. So if they're not catching it and they're not sharing it, 
I'll share it, but I'm sharing it 99% of the time, maybe 98% of the time, as Country Road Entertainment, but to my group. So I don't see how that would flag anything. So then the other thing comes up is it trolls. And we've had issues with trolls, and I've been you know, asked to do a troll video, and frankly, right now, with that kind of a neg negativity, I don't see the point. I mean, really, do you? I, I, I you know, drop in the comments if you want to... If we want to talk about trolls, we can talk about trolls. I mean, you know, I, my dad always told me that if, if you weren't doing it right, then you wouldn't have haters. So there's that. But um, but anyhow, so yeah, I, this went on for quite a while. I was in a panic. Um, you know, as many of you know, I mean, this is what I do full time, not just YouTube, but, you know, my business is around, you know, film and photo um, and marketing and so on. So now, right now, we don't have a whole lot going on, obviously, except this. And I want to make sure that, you know, everybody, whether they're on YouTube or Facebook, get the message when we do post a video. And sometimes we just post videos that are dedicated to, like, you know, maybe Patreon or maybe to uh, Facebook, you know, and maybe we do clips that go on Instagram. You know, it's, you know, it just depends. But getting cut off from Facebook was not a good thing. So, um, full on panic. So, that being said, Several hours later, I'm still working, you know, at least on other stuff. And at that point, I'm just like about to give up because there's like, well, I'm doing all this stuff and I can't put it anywhere. I'm just going to call it a day. And then out of nowhere, I refreshed the screen and it brought me past into login. Okay. Still don't know why um, and what was going on. And everyone's telling me and trying to give me advice. You know, Eddie, go here, go here, go here. And I don't think anyone understands. First of all, they don't tell you why. So I got a lot of whys. I don't know. I, you know, people get put into Facebook jail all the time. It's usually for inappropriate content or, you know, some reporting them as a spammer or maybe they are spamming, you know. Um, that's happened to me before. And I know for a fact it was trolls, you know. Just like the TV, if you, if, if you don't like my content, you know, you could just... Turn off the TV, change the channel, um, go to another Facebook page, or just keep scrolling. You know, you know, we enjoy doing this, and we hope that you do too. But if you don't, you know, you you can you know just move on. So that's happened before. So in this circumstance, no, everybody, I really, really didn't know. And what I did learn, and and I could be wrong, and you can put it in the comments below. That's what they're there for. I went through all the help pages I could find on Facebook and all the instructions I had in terms of like looking for assistance or complaints and everything like that, I had to be logged in for. So after a couple hours of going through all these just circles online, I'm like, well, what's the point? You know, so you just let it go. But yeah, I, I will admit I was in quite the panic. I mean, this is this is kind of my world, you know, I mean, outside of my family, but this is my livelihood, this is my work, this is my passion. So, um, definitely not a fun night, you know. Oh, and that brings us to the other thing I wanted to talk about, but we could say that for another time, but I will say this, we have had some issues with YouTube. It looks like they're squared away, but if you've been subscribed here for a while, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Um, Check on our YouTube channel on Country Road Entertainment and look to make sure that notification bell is set for you for all notifications. If it's not, that's because at one point they may have temporarily disabled it. That, to the best of my knowledge, has been fixed. If you weren't getting any notifications for a minute, that's why. But again, it seems like we had a fix and it seemed like it wasn't. And now I think we're good. So... And if you have any questions or anything, just feel free. You can email us, info at countryroadentertainment.net, and we'll be happy to help you in the best of our ability. But the issue was 100% out of our hands. It was on the YouTube side. And we, we can go into a, a whole video just on what happened at some point. That's fine. But anyhow, that being said, I hope you all stay healthy, stay safe. And again, if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then check that notification bell. Make sure it's set to send you all notifications. That way, anytime we post up an, another video or do a live stream, you'll get an alert on it. All right? So, y'all have a great day. See you. Bye.